Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Turkish imperialism restricts the rights of the Armenian people, Le Figuero. The enemy used heavy artillery in the direction of Shushi. There are victims among the civilian population. Armenian foreign minister, Azerbaijan has become terrorism center in South Caucasus. The Syrian army raised the Syrian flag at a former Turkish military base, the ancient city of Meya in Western Armenia. Artists from Gümri and Artsakh for Armenian soldiers. Soldiers, thousand pictures on the front. Many of Turkey's atrocious brutalities throughout history have been ignored, mentions the author of the article Olivier Delorme. The historian bemoans the Western leniency towards the regime's imperialism. Is it really necessary to preserve the legacy of Comrade Lenin and Stalin in the Caucasus, trying to find all possible excuses for the Turkish aggression against Syria, Libya, Greece, and the Republic of Cyprus? This question must be asked. Do not ignore the war waged by the Islamic imperialist regime of Ankara against the Armenians through Azerbaijan. It is interesting to see the reasons for the West leniency towards this regime, which is still founded by the European Union. The latter has collected the remnants of ISIS Al Qaeda in the Middle East as an add to its army, spreading them from Libya to Caucasus. It is still appropriate to ask why experts condemning the return of the Dark Hours are not outraged by the aggression of the state whose denial of the genocide against Armenians is the official propaganda material in schools and universities. Just imagine for a moment moment an international reaction in case of the German attack on Israel. Read the whole article on our website. The enemy used heavy artillery in the direction of Shushi. There are victims among the civilian population and there is a lot of destruction in the city. The state emergency service of the Artsakh Republic informs about this. After midnight, the enemy side, in parallel with the military operations, resumed the shellings of the peaceful settlements. Details about the injured citizens will be provided later, Ministry of the Emergency Situations reports. Armenian's Foreign Minister Zorhab Natsakanyan on Tuesday received a delegation consisting of participants of the European Youth for the Recognition of Artsakh Independence Program. Current and former European Union's MPs and foreign journalists informs the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Natsakanyan noted that the visit of such representative delegation in this difficult period for Artsakh is extremely important as an expression of support and solidarity shown to the Armenians of Artsakh. He informed those present about the course of the ongoing large-scale military aggression unleashed by Azerbaijan against Artsakh. Also, the foreign minister drew the guest's attention to the destabilizing role of Turkey, which is directly engaged in the hostilities conducted by Azerbaijan and which is reflected also Turkey's recruitment of foreign armed terrorists from the Middle East and their deployment in the conflict zone. Azerbaijan has become a center of terrorism in the South Caucasus, a state sponsoring terrorism, he said. Touching upon the ceasefire agreements reached through the mediation of the OSC Minsk Group co-chairs countries, Minister Munat Sakanyan noted that Azerbaijan's avoidance of fulfilling its respective commitments proves once again its inability to resolve the conflict peacefully. Also, Zohra Munat Sakanyan answered the questions of the meeting participants. In response to the question on the future development, Zohra Munat Sakanyan especially emphasized, this is a war waged for freedom. We must repay the blood of our compatriots with freedom. On November 2, the Syrian Arab Army deployed its forces in a former Turkish military post near the town of Morek. The Syrian armed forces deployed its forces just days after Turkish forces withdrew from the checkpoint in northern Hama. Syrian army engineering teams say the area is clear of explosives, after which the military raised the flag of the Syrian Arab Republic on a hill previously occupied by Turkish troops. Now the Morek is under Syrian control. The country's army will turn its attention to Sher Maghar Observatory, from which the Turkish military has also withdrawn recently. The ancient city of Maya, located in the Diyadin region of Agar province, Western Armenia, which in the past was home to many civilizations in terms of shelter, security and defense, is waiting to be discovered. In the ancient city, there are places of warships, residential areas and numerous caves. Some of the caves were formed by natural formations and some were built especially by the civilizations living here. This is the fortress city. Fortress cities are created for defensive purposes. It is an area near which there is a water where you can easily engage in agriculture. Security was taken into account here and the fortified city was built on top of the mountain where the castle is located. The Gumi branch of the State Academy of Fine Arts of Armenia has chosen its own option of helping the army. The initiative brings together novice and professional artists around one goal. 
As reported by Armen Press, all the proceeds from the exhibition sale artists from Gyumri for Artsakh and for Armenian soldiers are transferred to the highest all Armenian fund. Novice artists and professionals have united around the created Bohemian all in one row and with equal value, says the author of the initiative, painter Ashot Hakopian. The authors of the initiative have already sold more than 120 works. The artists transferred the money collected to highest all Armenian fund. The action will be continuous. Now let us represent your attention a song Davros. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.